So Paul Bates here, and I want to explain to you real quick. Uh, I'm down here in the engine room, down in the heart of this beast, uh, just uh, going for it. You know what I'm saying? Today I'm wiring the autopilot um, and the sonar in, but also the Tesla battery showed up. I want to explain the Tesla battery to you a little bit. So, so one of the things I want to talk about this week is the Tesla battery. Uh, it showed up today, and why I'm putting it in here, because see those two little house batteries right here, and that's all he has for house batteries in here and it, you can't do nothing with that I mean I, I'd run that out in about five about two or three hours <laughs> okay realistically about six hours so you can't even spend the night uh, overnight on the hook without burning that big generator right there so my plan is to put this Tesla battery in here it gives me as enough power gives me five kilowatts of power which would be like buying five uh, battleborn batteries uh, or uh, which would cost five thousand dollars and I had spent thirteen hundred dollars on this battery delivered now I'll have to buy some parts and stuff I'm sure I'll be another five or six hundred bucks I'll be two thousand dollars into it how small this battery is and how much I mean I just get so much for my money and so that's why I'm going with the Tesla battery now I'll find a nice place to mount it in here um, just put the charger in there because uh, once I put the 100 amp uh, 12 volt thing in there, I, I don't think I need it. Uh, I may not need uh, the inverter uh, because if I want if I want to invert power, uh, I just turn on the generator. It's not a big deal. This is more putting this Tesla battery in here is more about capacity and being able to sleep on the anchor, on hook at night, and not have to worry about running the refrigerator or something like that all night. This Tesla battery right here should run the refrigerator. Uh, that I'm gonna buy it would probably run it without even taking any juice from anything It'd probably run it for about two and a half maybe three full days and That's all I really want so but it'll also Run the entire boat like I could leave the boat for a month uh, Shut the refrigerator off and I wouldn't have to worry about power for this boat at all I wouldn't have to worry about my battery going down and look at it. I mean, it's not I mean, it's big it weighs 55 pounds and to get I'd have to put 10 of those lead acid batteries, probably more than that, uh, just to even come to the capacity of that little battery right there. And it's approximately about uh, 16 inches wide, four inches uh, uh, thick, you can see it right there. And it's about two feet long. And that's it, that's, that's my Tesla battery. That's, that is gonna be my power system for it. So super excited about getting that all installed. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Peace out. I'm in the belly of the beast here. <laughs> so I'm calling it now. Uh, we don't have any air outside because of the uh, Hurricane Zeta that just came through. So I want you to like and subscribe to the vi uh, channels here, and we sure appreciate you guys. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. And I'll get this Tesla battery mounted up, and it's going to be super cool. Trust me.